this for a little while so you can see a little work in progress. The other thing I like to do, you got a frog, you got a frog in your brick. I like to lay them upside down so it's the flat side down. Doesn't matter here so much, but on the sides, that, that frog doesn't give you much to support on that. So if you lay it upside down, you get this whole nice flat surface. Just uh, it doesn't roll on you as easy. this year he has had a bit of an awakening like noticing things that he used to didn't notice and reacting differently to them from when he saw them when he was pre two years old so we'll see what do girls like young adult reaction is to lightning the bugs i'm sure it'll be absolutely maniacal and distracting from enjoying anything beautiful nature has to offer but I am looking forward to that little sparkly green carpet and hanging out on the patio. That weather's coming. I don't think there's anything anybody can do about that, right? It's gone. We're going to have some summer. The sun's going to come out. <laughs> Wasn't that a musical? I've never been to a musical in my life. But Drive By Truckers, Southern Rock Opera, that was kind of a musical, right? This is Elizabeth Cook, April Street, Sirius XM. <laughs> like that.
pick up more on this than the back. If you're trying to, right now it's uh, angled like that. You're gonna bring it down into a square. So I'm getting probably about an inch and a quarter on front. Maybe three quarters on the back. fingers and look at them they, they're all worn down like that they got no fingers left it's just, it eats them up it chews the skin up destroys the lipids or whatever it is in your skin that uh, make your skin nice and soft same thing with concrete never never walk around in concrete bare skin get it all over your hands it's, uh, it's, it's actually a chemical burn so, but a little bit's okay everything in moderation right
Welcome to the boys back from lunch. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep. I've been kind of out of it for the last about five years here. I've taken care of my old man. Yeah, he's sick. Who'd you work for? I work for myself. Just always. Yeah. Yeah, I've been out of since I was 20. Uh, I started time for a guy when I was 15. Yeah. 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 Uh, in Middletown. It's not hard. It's not hard. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. yeah. money, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's definitely beat the crap out of your body. Yeah, I'm uh, putting these on uh, on uh, YouTube. You know, there's not there's not a lot of stuff on there, and I don't go fireplace. You know, and so I figured, you know, I was doing one, so I said, I'll put it on there, and uh, you know, we can do it. That's how I got into it. You know, yeah, you know, somebody just I turned ten minutes, and they and then my old neighbor is from up Pittsburgh, and he. He was amazing. He retired and I paid him to, when I first started on my own 20 years ago. He, yeah. I paid him to come work with me. So he was here and uh, he showed me the rest of the way and all. And, and uh, they always learned. You know, I always learned. Yeah, I probably loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. You know, all that stuff. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. There's, there's nothing on that, you know. The only way you know it is that's what we teach you. I mean, you can read a book on it, but it's not the same as the DMC. Yeah, so. That's awesome. Yeah, so I figured we'll do a little, little video on it. You know? Cool. Yeah, you know, you can see it on and mentor for many years. He was one of the first artists of his stature. Uh, he was the first artist of his stature to start taking me seriously as a songwriter. Um, that may have been indicated somewhat and predated, honestly, by um, Nancy Griffith and Ronnie Crow. But um, they really took time and, and helped me uh, focus on that. And Todd has a book uh, that, of course, when he wrote it, I, I just... I, I've been, you know, we're friends, and I know a lot of the stories I'm, I love hearing his stories, but I got that book and read it, like, as fast and hard as I could. And, you know, he had, like, a little brush with uh, Garth, Garth Brooks about the song Beer Run, and Garth tried to do the right thing in a way, and uh, Todd writes all about it, and it's, like, all totally cool. But he met the guy um, backstage at the Country Music Hall of Fame that had written Garth's version of Beer Run, and that guy had also written a song for Garth Brooks called If Tomorrow Never Comes. So, so did Todd.
I'm right back. 
grocery store down in Wild Floor, walking to the Winn-Dixie once a week. I feel like she went on Thursdays and her shoulders were thrown back because she had $80 in her pocket. And she would buy food that would feed us family of three for the next week. And we ate. We ate prepared milk. Like breakfast. Breakfast a lot of times was like oatmeal or cereal, sometimes eggs, bacon, sometimes pancakes, that kind of deal. Uh, she loved to bake cinnamon rolls. Oh my god, they were a sin. And lunch would be like a little cold plate, like a little old pie pan. It had a boiled egg, cheese, some crackers, and maybe a pickle in it, something like that. So lunch break. But then dinner would sit down and it'd be like meat and three type deal. There'd be a meat and a few vegetables could be. Hamburger gravy, fried pork chops, green beans, potatoes. So anyway, we would eat like that for like, as a family of three for eighty dollars. We a lot of beans and rice. So I put my beans on last night. Nice beans, get their home you now. Know, spicy green beans. I mean, they're the different, but really good green beans. And I, I made beef tips because I heard it on uh, Between the Beaches podcast, which is about Florida's cowboy land by Brad Ferris, and so I was listening to that, and he said. Uh, his wife's grandmother used to feed the, feed the workers uh, in out ranching, and they she come down the road in a crown bit with their trunk full of beef tips. Hey, here's Caleb Cottle. This is a new record from him. He is one of those artists that had their record come out right when everyone got consumed with this pandemic. So. Please, uh, if you're finding yourself bored with that and need to divert and check out some new music, they will probably a great new record, and I sing on this one, and it's Sway. Yeah. 
it might not rain today. I know, right? I mean, I haven't confirmed that, and you can really confirm it, but I haven't looked to see what Leland, Leland's my local weatherman, I haven't seen what Leland had to say about it, so I don't know. But it's not raining now, and the sky is not clear. It's overcast, but it's just such a thin overcast, you can kind of see what light on the other side of it might look like, and isn't that a metaphor for us these days? Thanks for being here at Outlaw and Three Beautiful Outlaw People. My name is Elizabeth Cook, and I'm your host here on Sirius XM. Chris Knight, Southern Colorado Skins, Outlaw Half Bands. A good time to uh, practice your pet proximity. Here's the bottom. <laughs>
Redex is what we need. Serious XM. Hello, country. Thank you.
sad, sad story of a man with no one to blame. Oh, I left you on the border, counting footprints in the sand. Now my life seems out of order, but my ring's still on.
came from. Um, so, yeah, good chance to keep So that's one thing we can count. There's something else I was going to tell you. My feet tipped. I didn't do super great. I did do one thing yesterday, even though I was supposed to go anywhere. Um, I went to, uh, well, I went to, uh, to get my vitamin Chick fil A, and I got some of that as a dry bag only situation. And the long hood, I got it there. It's like he can play Brass Monkey on the floor. I mean, he's not that talented. But maybe I'm just being like one of his moms.
before he got his hands and cross his daylight.
hottest band in the world, Kiss on Hair Nation. Let's go!